Hello, I would like to give you a short overview of Project 6 on attention awareness in the classroom in which we assess students' attentional focus during instruction. Our project consists of an interdisciplinary team with researchers from computer science, psychology and education science. In the present project, we considered students' attentional focus as we know from previous research that attention is a central prerequisite for successful learning. It is important for teachers to provide students with sufficient learning time, engage all students in active learning processes, and to elicit their cooperation to provide the best possible circumstances for students to pay attention and by this enhancing their achievement. To manage the classroom successfully and to provide appealing learning environments, teachers must direct their attention to the relevant information and contingently monitor students' learning. Therefore, they must detect visual cues in students' behavior that indicate how learners pay attention and how engaged they are with the learning content. When teachers can notice and identify a lack of engagement in students, they can adapt their teaching methods accordingly and encourage their students to engage with the learning content actively. However, we know that novice teachers in particular have difficulties overseeing and distributing their attention evenly across learners. So to support teachers and to improve teacher training, our overall project aim was to develop a so-called cognitive interface to assess and communicate students' focused attentional state to the teacher in various situations, such as online during instruction, or as a kind of debriefing of critical situations in teacher training, or as a tool in the scope of research projects in general. The results of our project should facilitate the detection of attention during instruction by using machine vision-based approaches and to develop a cognitive interface for students' attentional state. By this, we want to foster an understanding of the relationship between students' attentional focus and their learning success. This idea required several steps in advance to provide the technological foundation which is necessary for creating such a cognitive interface. This is why we focused on the development and the validation of a machine learning approach in the first step. We needed to find a way to assess students' attentional focus automatically based on visual features. Therefore, we developed a new method to rate students' visible disengagement in learning manually, and we did this by defining visible indicators, in steps of seconds to provide as many data points as possible that could serve as the ground truth for the automated analysis later. We then developed a machine learning approach to estimate engagement intensities in students by using visual behavioral cues in our case, head pose, gaze direction, and facial expressions, and also classroom synchrony. This means we used an indication for whether two neighboring students looked into the same direction or not. Finally, we tested this approach in a first study on 52 university students, which we videotaped during an undergrad seminar course. This picture here shows a screenshot on how the setting looked like. The participating students completed a knowledge test on the session topic subsequent to the lesson and filled in a questionnaire with self-reports on their involvement, situational interest and cognitive engagement during the session. We used those self-reports to validate the manual rating and found that the manual ratings capture visible indicators that are actually related to disengagement in learning. Furthermore, we found high correlations between the manual rating and the visual features the automated analysis was based on. Adding synchrony further improved the correlations with the manual rating as well as the prediction of the post-test variables in general. This study already got published and you can find it under this citation. In case you are interested in more details regarding the study design, methods, analysis or the results.
In total, we considered this work a promising starting point and continued with the next step, in which we aim to validate the machine learning approach in a real classroom setting. This step was necessary as young adults, as in university students, might have developed certain classroom survival skills and are able to control their behavior in a better way, thus behaving differently compared with high school students. Additionally, we wanted to improve the machine learning approach by considering additional features, for example, like raising hands. In the scope of our second study, we were able to videotape 130 high school students across different grades and subjects. In total, we videotaped around 50 school hours, which is great material that allows us to investigate intra-individual comparisons and comparisons across subjects. This is a figure of the workflow that we are using to analyze our data. Similarly, as in the first study, we use gaze direction, head orientation and facial action units, and also classroom synchrony again, to estimate students' attention. This time, we are enriching our approach by including information on raising hands and the active speaker additionally. Please note that this is an ongoing work and we, don't, and we did not have any results ready to present by the time this presentation was created. To extend the machine learning approach further, we developed a mechanism to consider joint attention by using attention maps and two novel convulsional attention mechanisms that can determine to select relevant features and improve joint attention localization. The shared focus of attention can improve the interpretation of certain classroom situations and can also point out students that deviate from the majority, meaning that those students are more likely not being attentive. And again, for more details, you can look into our respective paper, which you can find under this citation. Additionally, the machine learning approach so far was restricted to rather teacher-centered settings. Therefore, we are currently working on transferring the underlying mechanisms to group situations. In this picture here, you can get an idea on how this might look like in a situation where two pairs of people are seated around one table with two cameras being placed in the middle. Analysis like this can provide us with interesting insights into group dynamics for example in the form of graphics, like the one you can see here on the right hand side of the slide, where interaction frequencies between the different group members are displayed. In general, the development of a machine learning approach, which can estimate students' attention and focus in a reliable and valid way, turned out to be more complex than we imagined as computational resources in terms of accuracy and time have to be weighed up against each other. For now, we managed to identify a set of features that makes good estimations of students' attentional focus in teacher-centered settings. However, we have to reduce the set of visual features so that the cognitive interface can be used online, so right during instruction to report back students' attentional state to the teacher. Currently, we are pursuing two different pathways within our project. One focusing on the expansion of our approach by considering students' attention-related and interacting behavior in small group discussions, and another one that develops the cognitive interface itself, currently by identifying the most powerful visual features that require only a low computational load. Our project will continue beyond the official funding period of the Wissenschaftscampus Tübingen. Please feel free to get in contact with us in case you have any questions. And thank you very much for watching.